Behind me are the three most popular ferret cages, but only one is the best. Let's find out. Hey guys, it's Haley from The Modern Ferret, and today we're going to be comparing the three most popular ferret cages, which are the Katie Ferret Cage, the Feisty Ferret Cage, and the Double Ferret Nation Cage. Then, I'm gonna tell you which cage we recommend and why, and lastly, I'm gonna answer your most common questions about cages, like how long should a ferret spend in a cage per day? Quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by any of these companies, it is just based off of our own experience with these cages, all of which are linked below. All right, let's get started. If you are a new or prospective ferret owner or you're looking to upgrade, you're probably asking yourself, what is the best ferret cage out there? Which cage do you like the best? Even before I get into the pros and cons of each of these cages, I'll just tell you right now which is the favorite cage of the ferret community. It is, drum roll please, the Ferret Nation Cage. Hands down, everybody's favorite. It is literally just that awesome of a cage. But why is the Ferret Nation the most highly recommended cage in the ferret community? Side note, the Ferret Nation Cage we're showing in this video is the double Ferret Nation Cage versus the single unit one they also offer. The reason we're doing the double Ferret Nation Cage is because it's a lot more comparable to the other two cages that we'll be showing. Now let's compare cages. In terms of appearance, the Katie cage probably looks the cheapest out of the three. The body of it is painted wire and then the bottom is purple plastic. The shelves are also purple plastic and then the ramps are like this shiny gray plastic. The other two, the Feisty Ferret Cage and the Ferret Nation Cage are this dark gray painted metal finish and then the shelving in those ones is black. Someday my dream is that somebody or maybe some of us in the community come up with a much more beautiful ferret cage that we would be proud to showcase in our home. The lightest of the three ferret cages is the Katie ferret cage that weighs in around 19 pounds. Next up would be the feisty ferret cage that weighs in at around 50 pounds. By far the heaviest of the three cages is the ferret nation cage, which weighs in at about 93 pounds. This makes it difficult for one person to move on their own. However, it does have wheels on the bottom, which makes it easier to shift and cart from room to room. We even use our Ferret Nation cage when we board our ferrets at the vet. All we do is pull it apart and convert it to a single unit, and then take that part in our truck and drop it off at the vet. All of the cages in this video technically fit the minimum size requirements for a ferret cage according to Ferrets for Dummies, which says that for one to two ferrets, a cage must be three feet deep by two feet wide by two feet tall, or around 12 cubic feet. The Katie cage is the smallest of the three cages, measuring 24 inches deep by 24 inches wide by 44 inches tall, or around 14 cubic feet. When you see it in person, it's really not that big of a space at all. Now let's talk about the other two cages. I don't think a lot of people realize how much smaller the feisty ferret cage is than the double ferret nation. And I think a big part of this is that when you're shopping for a cage, you only really see the product photo and that's it. The feisty ferret cage measures 20 inches deep by 31 inches wide by 54 inches tall or around 19 cubic feet. The double ferret nation cage, on the other hand, measures 25 inches deep by 36 inches wide by 63 inches tall, or around 33 cubic feet. Here's what that difference looks like in person. It really makes a difference if you have more than one ferret in there. We used to have a Katie ferret cage when we first got moose. The bars are actually pretty flimsy and a determined ferret might be able to bend those bars and squeeze through, especially when they are at their youngest and smallest. Unfortunately, we've actually heard of this happening before. Even beyond the bars, the feisty ferret cage as well as the ferret nation cage are much more sturdy than the Katie ferret cage. 
Now, before I get into an important safety concern about the Katie ferret cage, as well as telling you the number one reason so many people are so happy with the Ferret Nation cage. If you're new to my channel, my name is Haley and I post educational and entertaining videos about ferrets every week. So if you are enjoying this content, make sure to take a moment to subscribe right now. Now let's talk about safety. In any tall cage, falling is always a risk. The Katie ferret cage is completely open from top to bottom, depending on how you arrange the shelves. Therefore, if your ferret falls, which they eventually will because ferrets are super clumsy, they could drop almost four feet and potentially injure themselves. Both the feisty ferret cage and the double ferret nation cage have a shelf throughout the middle. Therefore, if your ferret ends up falling from the top, they don't have a chance of plummeting all the way to the bottom which helps as far as safety is concerned. Now let's take a look at the locking mechanisms on each cage. The Katie ferret cage has the weirdest locking mechanism between these three cages. And if you check out the Amazon reviews, people are constantly complaining about it. They say it's hard to use and they say it easily breaks. The feisty ferret cage has a latching locking mechanism and we don't hear too many complaints about it. However, if you assemble the cage upside down, like I did the first time I put this cage together, you'll find that the locking mechanism can come apart very easily. The Ferret Nation cage has a very solid locking mechanism. It looks like this, and it uses a very simple spring-loaded locking system. After three years of use, we have not noticed it degrade in any way. Another really important safety feature you need to consider is the flooring. The Katie Ferret cage utilizes a plastic bottom and solid plastic shelves. For the most part, these are pretty secure and safe. The feisty ferret cage, on the other hand, has a huge concern when it comes to flooring. Instead of solid floors, it actually has wire floors on both the bottom and the middle section. Only the little plastic shelves you see in the cage are solid plastic. Now the problem with wire flooring is that your ferret can one, get their feet stuck in it if they walk across, but also even if your ferret doesn't get their foot stuck in it, it can actually cause damage to their feet over time. If you do end up getting this cage, we really recommend covering that wire flooring with something like cardboard. Now the Ferret Nation does technically have wire floors, but they are completely covered with plastic trays you put on top. So there's no exposure to that wire. So it shouldn't pose any safety risk to your ferret when they walk over it. Now let's talk about cleaning and daily use. As a new ferret owner, this may not be super high on your mind, but trust me, after the first couple of weeks, it definitely will be. Keeping your ferret's cage clean is a constant struggle and a very important part of ferret ownership. The Katie cage is notoriously difficult to clean because of the tiny access doors. This means that changing the litter every day as well as refilling the food and water becomes a total nightmare. Not to mention how hard it is to give that same cage a deep clean. Next up is the feisty ferret cage. Now this cage is so bizarre with the way that they made it. For some reason, only one side of the cage opens to clean it. I know probably in the product photos, it looks like both should open like the double ferret nation cage, but for some reason, one side is welded shut and you can only open the other side. This means that when you are changing out the litter box or again, refilling water and food, it can actually be really difficult. And it's also pretty difficult to give that same cage a deep clean. Another thing about the feisty ferret cage, as far as cleaning goes, is that because the bottom and middle level are both made of wire, and assuming that you haven't yet patched them with something like cardboard, when your ferret goes to the bathroom on that top level, it just drops through the cage onto the bottom, which is super gross. Now let's talk about the awesomeness that is the Ferret Nation cage. The double doors make it so easy to get in there and clean. The doors of the Ferret Nation cage even come off entirely if needed. Accessing and removing the litter box is super easy. Wiping down the shelves is super easy. 
Replacing food and water is super easy too. It's an activity that you will be doing multiple times a day as a ferret owner, so it's really important to make it as easy as possible. Cleaning in daily use is probably the number one reason that people end up with the Ferret Nation cage and stick with it. Customizability is another really important category when it comes to comparing these three cages. The Katie Ferret cage has the most options in terms of rearranging the shelves, but I do need to mention it is a total pain to do it because of those super small access doors and how difficult these shelves are to snap into place. The Katie Ferret cage also has wavy ramps and slides, but our ferrets weren't a big fan of those. The Feisty Ferret Cage is probably the most limited of the three cages when it comes to customizability. It has snap-on shelves just like the Katie Cage, so theoretically you should be able to snap them anywhere in the cage. However, you can only actually put them on the side of the cage where the door doesn't open, so really there's only like three different positions you can put them in. To maximize space, you'll most likely put the shelves and ladders in the same place they show in the product photo and then just keep them there. It's also really frustrating to try to put in these shelves in the feisty ferret cage because only that one side door opens. This may not seem like a super big deal, but trust me, it gets super annoying. For the ferret nation cage, arranging the shelves is pretty limited like the feisty ferret cage. However, one of the coolest things about the Ferret Nation cage is its ability to connect endlessly to other Ferret Nation cage units. This means you can create an infinite Ferret Super Cage, which many Ferret owners have actually done. You can't connect more cages to a Katie Ferret Cage, and to our knowledge, you can't do this with the Feisty Ferret Cage either. Let's finish off this comparison section by talking about price, which is of course a very important consideration when it comes to choosing your cage. The Katie Ferret Cage is currently $138. The Feisty Ferret Cage is currently $150. The Double Ferret Nation Cage is currently $240, although you can buy the single level unit for $140. Now, obviously the double Ferret Nation cage is significantly more expensive than the other two cages, which could potentially be a big turnoff for new ferret owners. However, if I could just state my case for why you should bite the bullet and go for the double Ferret Nation cage, or at the very least, get the single level unit. Number one, the Ferret Nation cage is easily the best cage in terms of size, cleanability, everyday use, and safety. Also, it's absolutely the most customizable between the three cages that we talked about today. All of these things are major factors when it comes to your experience as a ferret owner. Number two, even though the Double Ferret Nation cage is about $100 more than the other two cages on this list, you'll probably end up spending that amount on food, accessories, toys, and treats within the first couple of months anyways. If it's between getting more accessories and toys for your ferret or upgrading to a cage like this, I'd recommend going with this cage. Number three, other people have had similar experiences and here's some of the reviews they left for us to share with the community. May said, Ferret Nation by Midwest all the way. Big doors for easy cleaning, vertical bars to deter climbing, wide shelves to prevent injury. Catherine says, the only cage I recommend is a Ferret Nation. It's easy to clean, easy to upgrade and make bigger and the best cage I've found so far. I've tried the Feisty Ferret before, a cheaper option but hated it. Only one side opens, making it hard to clean. It has wire floors which are bad and can injure ferret feet and legs and no way of upgrading it or making it bigger. I wished I had just spent the extra money and just started with the Ferret Nation. Regardless of which cage you end up choosing, I would like to outline the basic requirements of any cage. So if you come across a cage in the future, you know what standards to judge by. According to Ferrets for Dummies, a ferret cage should measure at least two feet by two feet by three feet in order to house one to two ferrets. A small cage is not meant to be their entire world. A ferret should not be spending 24 seven in that space. Think of a cage as more like a bedroom. The bars of the ferret cage should be no more than one inch apart. 
and they should be very sturdy, unlike some cheaper cages which can have very flimsy bars. The floor of the cage should be solid, and ideally the cage itself is made out of metal instead of wood, which is easier to sanitize. If you want tips and tricks on how to properly clean your ferret cage, make sure to check the link in the description below. There are so many more considerations that go into creating the perfect environment for your ferret that I don't have time to go into in this video. It's stuff like the ideal temperature for your ferret, the ideal lighting environment, and a couple things you actually need to avoid at all costs. However, I do have another video where I go way more in depth on this topic, so make sure to check out that link in the description below. Choosing the right ferret cage is a big deal. Believe it or not, the right ferret cage can actually make the difference between an enjoyable experience as a ferret owner and a really unpleasant one. It's important to me that you have a really positive experience as a ferret owner, and that's why I make such a big deal out of choosing the right cage. No matter which cage you choose, it's really important to maximize the amount of time that your ferret spends outside of the cage directly interacting with you. If you're curious about what to put inside your ferret's cage, I encourage you to check out how we decked out our own cage in our own home. That's right, we're doing a cage tour. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And if this was weaselly the best video you've seen all day, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. All right, bye guys, see you next video. Banana, banana, ferret's in a banana, banana, banana. Ferret's in a banana. Oh, they're hugging their brother. Bananas in pajamas. Bananas in pajamas. <laughs>